How's it going everyone? Welcome to my first tutorial with LSPDFR. Today we will be installing the EUP menu, Emergency Uniform Pack Law and Order 8.3, Emergency Uniform Pack Serve and Rescue 1.5. These are all updated recently and got a lot of nice cool stuff into them, so let's get into it. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend or had a fantastic weekend. Let's go ahead and jump into this. We're, today we're going to be installing the new EUP menu, Law and Order, and Serve and Rescue Pack. So what we want to do first off is go onto the LSPDFR website. And by the way, all of these here will be linked down in the description below of the video. Go onto the LSPDFR website and you will find the EUP menu 2.3. Go ahead and click download on the file. As you can see, I already got them downloaded over here. But you click download. Go ahead and if this pops up, just go ahead and click agree and download. That'll take you to the page. I'll go ahead and do that so you guys can see. That'll take you to the page here where you will download the video. See right here, or the file, sorry. And you can see I already got them downloaded. But you'll do that. Then you can go ahead and close out of that. Okay, next we're going to need the... Emergency Uniform Pack Law and Order. Go ahead and click download for that one too. Now here we're only going to be downloading the open IV file or the OIV file. Go ahead and click that. And again, that should take you to this page. I'll go ahead and let it run even though I have them downloaded. Let's see here. This one might take a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and delete these. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that one. Sorry, I got it downloaded. Just go ahead and let that download. And we'll be done with that one. Next, we're going to be the Emergency Uniform Pack Serve and Rescue 1.5. Now, I will be adding this into my file because I do not currently have them in my game. So, you like just like the other one, you're going to go ahead and click download. We want the OIV file. Download. And then once that starts downloading, just go ahead and let everything finish downloading. Once those are done, you will take your, you, if you can pull them out of this right here, just go ahead and drag them to your desktop. If not, go ahead and go into your downloads file, this PC downloads. You should see them in there and just, you can take them off and bring them to your desktop that way too. All right, once you are done with that, go ahead and close out of that. We won't worry about OpenIV for right now. That's one of the files you will need. Most of you guys that are just doing the update, you will have that already and pretty sure you know how to use it so next we're going to jump into where we have our gta directory i have mine on a separate external hard drive i don't know you might have yours in your c drive i don't have a big enough drive actually in my main computer so i do every all my games and everything on don't forget that one i do all my games and everything you're going to go to on a separate drive you'll go to steam library steam apps common and then you'll see your gta folders I have a few of them different here, but I'm going to go ahead and use this main one that I have because I am updating that current file. You're going to open it up and you should see a mods folder here. Those of you that have done a, added stuff to your game, you will see the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, let me open this up just a little bit. If you do not have a mods folder, just go over here, right click, type new folder, and then you will name it mods, just like that, all small letters. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one out of there. All right, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and open up the EUP menu. Click that. Mine is a RAR file, a WinRAR. You can either have a zip file or a WinRAR. Now in here, you're going to see two files. There's going to be a files and a documents. We want the files. You'll see here we have the plugins, just like here we have our plugins. Now with the Rage Native UI, this one should be the most current updated one. Actually, I'm going to drag that back over here just a little bit. That should be the most current updated one. If you're worried about that one, go ahead and come down here till you see Rage Native UI. You can see that says 8121. This is 8121, so they are the same file. So if you want, you can go ahead and highlight both of these. Come down here below it, left click, hold it down. 
highlight both of those, or you can hit Control, click, click, left click, and drag them into this area here. This is your buffer zone, your safe zone. You do not want, see how that's highlighted? If I was to drop this here, it would drop it into that file, and I would not like that because my game would probably crash. So you want to make sure you keep it out somewhere where nothing is highlighted. Go ahead and drop those in there. Now it will ask you to replace both of these files. Go ahead and click yes. All right, so that is done. We can go into our plugins folder. You can see our EUP. And we have that in there. That is our EUP menu. So we can go ahead and close out of this and delete that. All right, we are actually done with our main directory. We can go ahead and close that out. Okay, so now we want to go into our open IV, Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. We will wait for that to open up here. Now you want to make sure that you are in edit mode. As you can see, mine's blue. So that means mine is automatically in edit mode. I have it set that way so it comes on when I start the program. If you want to do that, go ahead and click Tools, Options, and right here where it says Default Work Mode. If yours says read only, change it to edit and hit close. It might ask you to apply. I'm not sure I had mine this way all the time. And then after that, we want to go into tools, ASI manager, and you want to make sure that you have all of these installed. The ASI loader, ASI or OpenIV, ASI. And if you use the Rockstar editor and stuff like that, you want the open camera. So I just went ahead and installed all of them. You can too. It ain't going to matter if you do or don't use that. Just, I would say do it. Just go ahead and install them all. Okay, next, let's go to our mods folder. And what's nice about the OpenIV files is that you can just take them, drag it in here, drop it, and it will ask you to install. Go ahead and click install. Now here is a very, very important part. You want to install in your mods folder. Do not install any mods in your game folder. There is a very, very good chance this will destroy your game. You will be in a world of hurt and probably have to start the full installs all over again. Make sure you click mods folder, install, give that a few seconds, depending on how fast your computer is. I didn't think mine would take this long. There we go. Now, when this screen comes up, it says installation succeeded. Do not click run Grand Theft Auto. Just hit close and you're good to go on that one. You can take your law and order OVI, delete it. Next, go ahead and click your mods folder again. Take the serve and rescue, drag it, drop it. Do the same thing, hit install, mods folder, install. Then when that is done, we're done. All right, like I say, go ahead and hit close. All right, we're done with that. So go ahead and close out of your open IV. You can delete that folder. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is head on into the game and check out the uniforms. But first we want to double click on our Rage plugin hook here. And when you do, hold down your left shift key. Double click, hold down your shift key. Wait for the menu to pop up here. All right, now we have our Rage configuration plugin. We, what we want to do here is I would suggest changing your threshold here to 60,000 just to give it some extra time to load everything up. But go into your plugins, make sure that everything is checked here. We'll go ahead and uncheck everything. Che hit check all, everything's checked. Load all plugins and startup, and then go ahead and hit save and launch. And we'll see you guys in the game. Okay, as you can see, it's loading the EUP menu right there. If you do not see that showing you that it's loading, I'll show you once we get into the game here how to load it up for yourself. All right, so once we're into the game here, and if you did not see that EUP menu load up like I should, that mine did right there on the screen, go ahead and hit your F4 key. That will bring up your plugins loader here type in load plug in and then you're gonna hit space 
Wow, mine actually brought it up first. But if you don't see that, go ahead and type in EUP. Then you can hit tab and go ahead and hit enter and that will load your EUP. All right, so once we make it into the game, you can go ahead and either go on duty or if you want to get on your uniform and stuff beforehand, go ahead and click the F11 key. This is where you can load your characters. You can do the wardrobes that you've already saved or pick a new wardrobe. Let's go ahead and look at some of the new outfits we got. We got the Los Santos Police, Los Santos Sheriff's Department, San Andreas Highway Patrol, San Andreas State Police, Blaine County Sheriff's, FIB, DOA, News, IIA. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the uniforms we have here. The male, Class A, Class B, Class C, jacket, raincoat, Beach detail, bicycle, suit, detective vest. See, there's a lot of new stuff in here that you can just go ahead and look around, play around, find what you like. K9 class, what was that? That's a dirt bike. K9. I really like the jumpsuit look. What I'll do is I'll take like one of the jumpsuits and then go in and do some other stuff, edit it, and do some other stuff to it. Pilot. Let's check out the sheriff. Oh, that's the highway patrol. Not bad. I like them. Really, really clean looking outfits, I tell you. All right, so that's going to do it for my first tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a big, big, big favor and go ahead and hit that like button or leave me a comment down below your choice. It was kind of interesting doing it because it was my very first one. Kind of nervous, you know. I hoped I did a good job. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. We will see you guys on the next one. Take care.